Welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on percentage. This topic is very frequently asked in various entrance examinations like bank, B school exams and government exams. By the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position when dealing with the problems from the chapter percentage. So let's begin. First question. A stationary shop owner has some rubbers. He sells 30% rubbers and still has 350 rubbers. So originally he had how many rubbers? Now we don't know the original number of rubbers. So we will assume the original number of rubbers to be X. And as the stationary shop owner said that he sells 30% rubbers and he still has 350 rubbers. That means he sold 30% rubber and is left with 70% rubber and the number is given that he is left with 350 rubbers so 70 percent of total rubbers is equal to 350 rubbers 100 minus 30 percent that is 70 percent of x is equal to 350 so we can get the value of x from here that is 500 so therefore the owner had 500 rubbers originally second question Sachin scored 90 runs which included 5 boundaries and 6 sixes. What percentage of his score did he make by running between the wickets? Now, out of 90 runs, Sachin hit 5 boundaries and 6 sixes and other than these boundaries and sixes, he run between the wicket. So we need to find out the percentage of all the runs taken between the wickets. So number of runs made by running are 90 minus all the boundaries and all the sixes so 5 into 4 plus 6 into 6 that would be 56 so 90 minus 56 goes up to 34 so number of runs made by running would be 34 total number of runs would be 90 as given in the question so 34 by 90 into 100 would be 37.78 percent so this is the percent of his total score which he made by running between the wickets Third question. In a university presidential election, three candidates contested and received three kind of votes 1457, 3498, and 2334. These are the different numbers which they received. Now, what percentage of the total scores did the winning candidate get? Now, the highest vote which a candidate got was 3498. He won the election. So, we need to find out that. 3498 make how much percentage of total votes casted? So the total number of votes polled were 1457 plus 3498 plus 2334, which goes up to 7289 votes. Now the required percentage would be as 3498 votes were the votes which the winning candidate got. So 3498 divided by 7289 into 100, that goes up to 47.99. So the winning candidate had 47.99% votes. Fourth question. Anupam and Bhavik appeared in an examination. Anupam scored 12 marks more than Bhavik. And his marks were 60% of the sum of their marks. So we don't know how much Anupam and Bhavik scored. So we would assume Bhavik marks to be X and Anupam to be X plus 12. As I said in the question that Anupam secured 12 marks more than Bhavik. And now the second statement is that Anupam's mark was 60% of the sum of their marks. So this sum of sum of their marks would be x plus 12 plus x, 60% of the sum. So 60 by 100 into x plus 12 plus x, and which was equal to Anupam's mark. So x plus 12. So we can solve for x from here. 5x plus 60 is equal to 6x plus, plus 36. We get x is equal to 24. And from here we can get the marks of uh, Anupam. Adding 12, we get 36. Therefore, the marks of Anupam and Bhavik are 36 and 24. Fifth question. In a certain MBA college, 20% of students are below 22 years of age. Number of students above 22 years of age is 2 by 3 of the number of the students of 22 years of age. That is 48. So, the question is framed in a bit, bit tricky way. So, we would try and deduce what information is given in this question. 20% of students are given below 22 years of age. So we can infer that 
80% of students are above 22 years of age 100 minus 20% of x that is 80% of x and now now he is saying that number of students above 22 years of age is 2 by 3 of the number of students of 22 years that is 48 so number of students of 22 years of age is 48 and uh, he is saying that it is 2 by 3 of number of students of 22 years of age plus 48 which forms 80 percent of x so it would go on to 80 x by 100 is equal to 80 and we get x is equal to 100 so the total number of students in the college would be 100 i hope the problem solved in this video would help you in dealing with the problems from this chapter in future thank you